Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And we are talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so much more for this series. So for this video, I want to talk about something. Another wonderful revelation I've had recently about fear because I feel like fear just comes up with absolutely everything that you try to do in this life, especially because we are under amnesia when we incarnate, so we don't remember where we've just come from. And so a lot of everything that we do is like unknown, it feels unknown at least. So there's a lot of fear when it comes to literally every aspect of our lives, from relationships to career, to whatever because it all feels unknown and we tend to fear the unknown and I've really realized actually that when it comes to fear what we're fearing is the possibilities of what that thing could be like we're fearing because we fear so many goddamn possibilities like when you literally in my last video I talked about um wanting to tell someone that you like them and not come across as desperate so literally that fear of feeling like you're going to come across desperate the fear of the possibility that somebody else will perceive us as desperate you know so it's not the fear of you actually being desperate it's fear of what that person will think of you it's fear that that person will perceive it that way and this kind of happens with every area of our lives we fear all of these possible outcomes all of these different outcomes and that's what holds us back from doing all of these things that we want to do and most of the time it's not even a thing it's actually a fear of somebody else's perception rather than it being an actual thing because like fear of rejection or fear of failure or fear of like messing something up and making a mistake all of that is about somebody else perceiving it because if nobody else saw us fail if nobody else saw the mistake it wouldn't really matter but because other people see it that's the thing that we're fearing it's not actually the thing itself it's other people's perceptions of it because and other people's perceptions of us because this whole world as i've said a million times this whole world is based upon perception like that's literally what creates it so we're fearing other people's perceptions but it's not just one perception that we're fearing we're fearing all of these different possibilities of what their perception could be And all of these possibilities are the stories that come up in our head, the millions of thoughts that are like, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this? And all of those stories like spiral in our heads and they're the things that literally cause so much anxiety and then we don't know how to move through that anxiety. Like it almost um, makes us stuck. What's the word? Like it literally takes over you and you don't feel like you can move because you're just filled with so many anxious emotions because you're thinking about all of these possibilities of these different outcomes of what could happen so I think like the key to even change that is to let go of the outcome let go of trying to control what outcome happens because we tend to act and behave in a way that will achieve the possibility that we want like when you look at all of these possibilities we cling to one that we really want so then we'll act and behave and move in a way that will bring that possibility to life you know and sometimes it doesn't end up going that way and a different one will happen and then we'll be even more devastated than we already felt you know so I think it's just like a complete clinging on to and like toxic mental cycles of thoughts about all of these different things and potentials that could happen and then clinging to specific ones that you either really do want to happen or really don't want to happen and we just get into even more toxic thought cycles and just magnify everything and make it worse and so now I kind of realise having this revelation why meditation is so important because it allows you to be present and stop listening to those thoughts, stop attaching to those thoughts and just letting them come and go because like it really is an overthinking kind of cycle when we start to fear all of these outcomes. I know for me when I feared like 
I feared um, putting music out, especially recently because I've been trying to be consistent with my releases and the fear will come up and, it, and I realise now it's like a, it's a fear of all of these possibilities of what could happen with the song, like what if somebody says this, what if they don't like it, what if it isn't received the way I want it to be, like what if, what if, what if, you know, it's just a lot of what ifs and all of these different potentials and possibilities of outcomes of what could happen so when we let go of that and we stop trying to control that and we focus on our own intent and our own purpose and our own hearts and like why I want to make music why I'm doing this like why when you get clear on yourself and why you want to do that thing it kind of releases or like lessens the attachment to all of these outcomes because you begin to just trust that you're doing it for the right reasons and whatever the outcome is it is what it's going to be and hopefully it will be the best one possible but it is what it's going to be because I know I'm doing this for the right reasons you know and you just focus on that it's literally shifting your focus <laughs> it's just shifting your focus away from the overthinking because you keep looking at all of these potentials and bring it back to the now moment of this is me this is who I am this is what my purpose is this is what I like and what I don't like this is like this is the entirety of me and this is my truth and this is my heart and let me walk in that and focus on that rather than focusing on what will they think what will happen if I fail do you know what I mean because we just get so caught up on the external but it's on things that haven't actually happened yet it's potentials it's not even something that's actually manifested yet and when we focus on it obviously we're going to bring it into the reality because that's how powerful we are so if we keep focusing on all of the things that we don't want and all of the things that we fear then we're just going to amplify them and make them real you know so yes that was my little thought process I hope this helped you in some way but I don't know I just think it's really about a mindset shift like everything in our lives is about a mindset shift and we have to become aware of where our mental state is at right now before we know where and how to change it so it's really just key to become aware of what possibilities you're looking at what potentials you're looking at to be able to then stop yourself from doing that and be like the observer in being able to move your focus to where you actually want it to go rather than just letting it run wild letting it go where it wants to go and creating all of these annoying stories that just keep you so anxious and so uncomfortable and so stuck in fear and everything that you don't want to be stuck in you know so yes I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching I really really appreciate you and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do release three videos a week on this YouTube channel and all my links to my music my social media my phone number because I send daily inspirational texts and whatsapps all of that info will be in the description box below and I hope you have the best week see you soon why did I say see you soon that sounded See, this is what happens when you end up on like some kind of weird thought wave and it just keeps on going. <laughs> Don't know what that was. But anyway, so yes, I will see you in the next video. I guess see you soon does make sense, actually. Okay. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy. Pulling in the white teeth Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like in my range all white